Now, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer here. I've always been a force of positivity for Sea of Thieves, and I want it to remain that way. But there comes a time where you just have to say something. Now you've probably noticed that lately the game's bugs have gotten to a point where it's practically unbearable. I'm talking about quests not working, world events failing, massive amounts of desync, hip reg and sharks. It's got to a point now where it feels like the developers are just not really making the game's stability their priority anymore. But that all said, I've never really been one to talk on such things, as there is only one thing I really care about in Sea of Thieves, and that's the storyline. The storyline, just like mostly everything else in Sea of Thieves, is completely broken. You can give me all the lag and the bugs you can throw at me, but don't mess with the storyline. Now I think it's worth mentioning before I start that I've personally loved the Monkey Island Tour Tales, and this really isn't what this is all about, as Monkey Island is kind of a tag-on storyline, a literal tall tale. But I'm talking about the actual Sea of Thieves storyline. Almost all of the villains for Sea of Thieves have been present and focused on in its five years of development. Sure, they might have changed sides or show up as sticks, but it's always been the same characters, all having a little quarrel and never really getting anywhere. Take Flameheart for example. Ooh, he's coming back, but not yet. Ooh, he, now he's coming, but not yet. Oh, 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 here he come! Not yet though. Literally the most feared pirate in the seas, but it's taking him five years to actually do anything other than shout at us from the sky and give us some loot as a reward. The game's storyline has been going on for a very long time now, and in those five years we've practically had no evolution. We're still sat in a world where flame art will one day emerge, and it's all big and spooky but nothing is happening, mainly due to the fact that Monkey Island and the delay of season 10 has kind of put it all on a back burner. But let me just point out that as a community, we we made the choice to release Flame Art last December, and we've had no evolution of this apart from a half-built Burning Blade at Shipwreck Bay. Merrick wins Golden Sands, and he gets a whole outpost built in his honor. Flameheart wins Return of the Damned, and we get a snapped-in-half Galleon. Come on, guys! I'm sure we'll get to see some evolution at some stage, but I can guarantee you it ain't gonna be this side of our rotation around the sun. And this is the problem. The wait time for the story to evolve. Flameheart has been the focus of the storyline now since the game's release, and it's been a constant uprising with not much actually happening. Comparing the evolution of storylines in other games that have been around for five years, Flameheart should have been done and dusted within the first two years. We should be moving on to different storylines now, different villains, different tangents. Instead, we're not. We're we're just adding more and more tangents all over the place on top of the main focus which is making the whole thing so confusing. How did Wanda survive? Briggsy and the Ancient Temple? Why did the Siren Queen come back? How did the Gold Hoarder come back? Why did the Silver Blade come back? What was Merrick's secret? Is DeMarco actually dead? Where is the warrior? Who is the captain? I could literally go on for hours like this, but you get my point. The story isn't evolving. Everything is the same as it was on day one. We just have a couple of new NPCs here in there to help back up the agenda of the main villains. The whole point of Adventures was to evolve the storyline and change the world, showing the scars of Adventures past. So where is that? In fairness, we did get Port Merrick, but apart from that, we we got some we, we got some fog, which was also the same location as Port Merrick. So that's not world evolution, that's renovation. We're still bouncing around the same islands, the same oceans, the same ambience. Sure, we've had a few islands and areas added, but these are locked out to tall tales and serve no world evolution to our regular gameplay. Where is our evolving world? Where are the changes to the landscape we were promised? There was a glimmer of hope with a new mystery this year, but the only evolution we got from that was a PNG on Twitter. A PNG on Twitter! I do think that the developers, who already know what's going to happen, are probably right now working on the next big shocker moment, but they don't actually realise the massive pause between lore drops lately. When the development team was much smaller back in 2018 to 2019, we were getting monthly updates, and these monthly updates actually changed the world. Hungering Deep, Cursed Sails, Forsaken Shores, Fort of the Dam. Fast forward to 2021, when seasons first came out, and the development team is three times the size, and also fast forward to present day in 2023, name one thing that's changed about the world outside of Tall Tales. One thing. I started this channel when the game had no storyline, but there was hints to his story. I went around the different islands and tried to decipher the cave paintings. This is what made my channel popular. Why? 
Because just like the very nature and sandbox experience Sea of Thieves is so popular for, the storyline has always been something we have had to discover for ourselves, and that's what made it so enticing. I love Tall Tales, I really do, but given the amount of delay between Tall Tales and Adventures, I think it's time we went back to the roots. You don't need a Michael Bay cinematic to tell a story. A couple of assets and a journal or two does it so much better, and takes around about 99.9% .9 less time to actually implement. This has been proven time and time again. It's 2024 soon, and as a player and a content creator, I want all these tangent storylines to come to an end in 2024. I want the Flameheart storyline to come to an end, and I want to actually see the game evolve once again. New villains, new storylines, not the same recycled stuff over and over again. And I don't want another crossover getting in the way. In fact, we don't want one, as these polls prove. As I stated at the beginning of this video, I hate being negative like this, I'm a very positive force of nature in Sea of Thieves and I want to remain being that way, but there comes a time where you just have to talk on subjects like this. So I'm Captain Falcor and thank you very much for attending my negative TED talk today. I promise I'll be more positive in videos to come. Thanks for watching guys, hit that subscribe button and I'll speak to you all very soon.